Welcome to the SIS project setup of the AX. Currently we're looking here at our Contoso Entertainment System workspace. This company is USMF and as you see there's multiple workspace tiles within here. Clicking on the tile menu I can bring up my modules and I have a project management accounting and project cost management module. But I can also work within the workspace and go onto a project management tile, which is a fully customizable workspace that I can add multiple different things, such as budgets, construction contracts, ECACs, and also add tiles. And these tiles can tell me exactly what is going on within those specific parts. And also, I can click on a tile and go into that actual part. So here we're landing on the All Projects page. You'll see up top we have some different areas such as Project, can Manage, Billing. We also have a Project Cost Management tab that enables us to go to other parts of the system such as Budgets, ECAC, now, in the list page you see here, you see multiple projects of different types. We're ability to filter on these quickly. There's a filter option over here. But more importantly, it's telling me that now we're having the active projects, showing me the top level, which means no sub-projects this time, and what legal entity I'm currently in. Now, what I'm going to do is create a new project. If I look up here, we have a new button, and that's going to bring me up a side panel. And the first part is the type of project. Within the type of project drives what kind of project group we're going to have. In other words, there can be many groups to one type. So within fixed price, I might have lump sum, cost plus, um, a revenue recognition completed percentage within the fixed price type. So now I'm going to pick fixed price. Automatically an ID number is generated for me, but we have the option to have auto numbering with constants in alphanumeric, or it can be a free text field. Now we're going to put in a project name. Now the project group. Now this automatically picks the one project group I have and I selected that. Now every project needs a contract. A contract is who we are going to be billing. By kicking the plus sign it brings up my project screen. Not having to work going to other parts of the system. I simply just hit the plus sign. I'm adding a, this funding type is a customer so now I'm going to add that customer here by hitting the drop down I have the ability to bring up all the customers in the accounts receivable module. I'm going to pick for host sales here from our customer. It's now assigned a project contract ID, a name, and a currency. By clicking OK it's going to take that information and put it into my project as we'll see here. Now that project ID has been populated here. I can add a project manager, a start date. Now I'm hitting the project manager. We see that we're AX is pulling all the available employees from the HR module. Once again, seamlessly moving in the background. So I'm going to do now a filter on the top. And it's a name filter. Um, June, I know there is someone here in June, and I'm going to say contains. When I apply that, it brings up June Lowe. She's an operations department. I'd like to add her as the project department uh, manager, so I select her. June has now been added. Now create project. 
At SIS, we do all the settings. So this makes it very easy to create a project. All ledger posting, setups, and behavior of the project are predefined and configured. So by setting up the project with these simple configurations in this data, it'll simply be ready to take off. Now we see here we were on the project form. A lot of this information I just filled out has been populated, but there's other stuff we can add, project controller, um, extension date, project date, actual start date. And I just close the tabs, but if you cl click on one of these tabs, you can see your pertinent information here. All these tabs have additional information in them, such as our setup, car activities of forecast, journals. We're going to look at a couple of these. Our hierarchy, we can make this project a template, make it a header project, sub-project format. The address is the project address. We have a map. We can edit the address, the financial dimensions, how we want to segregate the GL and the postings for this project. We have customer attention and vendor attention. And then we have a project cost for prevailing wage, certified jobs, sites we can add, close dates, financial close dates, and other customizable fields. So this is the project setup. Also on the top, you'll see we have different stages for the project that can be put in. On the setup, we can add for time and material. We have cost and sales price, more for billing. On the manage, we control item tasks, purchase orders, production orders, sales orders, purchase requisitions, RFQs. These all can be added. We have customer advances, retention, billing up here. And as we talk about retention, we have vendor invoices, pay when paid, and look at all our billing, project statements, cash flows. We can run these to find information about the project quickly. So that's just an overview of the project setup. Thank you for joining us at SIS.